Hello there, this is Blake Harmer here calling from Emotionally14. Um, we, you may know me from such wonderful podcasts as E14's The Crazy Train and the E14 Gamescast. Um, today we're going to uh, delve into having a stab at uh, playing Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. This is the PS4 version I'll be playing. Um, we, I know it has also been around on PC for quite a while now. Um, I've always been interested in playing it because um, I loved the original Fallout games and uh, I've heard this is more of the original ilk. Um, I'd like to, I've not played the original Wasteland, although if I enjoy this I will definitely be picking it up. Um, so I thought we'd delve in and have a bit of fun. Um, this is a word of warning, I've not actually played this game at all, so I'm not aware how it's going to function. Um, but we will see how we go, so okay, let's uh, go into a new game. And that's Mr. Spikey. Uh, oh, he looks lovely. Nice sharp teeth as well. Uh, do you want to start the game with a default Ranger squad or create your own squad? Oh, I think it'd be fun to create our own custom squad. Uh, let's have a look here, let's see what we can make. Okay, uh, let's make a boy first. A boy with fantastic tits, apparently. Um, right. Actually, yeah, let's keep with the woman, actually. Okay, um... Right. Let's call her... A character I always like to introduce in all of my, um, squad-based games, including XCOM, which I'm sure you'll, uh, find out on that. Mrs. Bitch. Let's see how we go on there. Okay, so that's female. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, we'll go with female. Uh, age probably doesn't matter, we'll go for 26. Uh, religion, none. Smokes, none. Let's see, American. I'm not sure how this will actually affect the game, but uh, we'll just be a box down American. No, don't want to do that. Right, okay. Uh, let's have a look at the portraits. What shall we have here? Uh, doesn't really look like how she looks there, but, um... She looks like a bitch, let's go with that one. There we are. Okay, so uh, let's see. Mm, let's see what cool stuff can we give her. We can give her a hat. Uh, a construction hat, uh, army hat, beanie. Uh, this is just her hair now. Um, Let's have it in on a ponytail there. Uh, her hair. Her head. Torso. Uh, I think if you had to be a bitch, you had to be look like you're rocking some sort of combat armor because obviously you're going to be cheesing people off and that sort of thing. So I think that's going to work well. Um, packs. What's packs? Ah, I see. Uh, well. You're the people surviving out in the wasteland, so I think you're going to need to be packing some serious gear. So, yeah, that looks like a big badass machete. Let's do that. Uh, legs. Again, yeah, I think that sort of suits. Again, someone goes for like a, cro a twat shot or anything like that. She's going to be well padded to take any type of that. Uh, skin tone seems fine. Okay. So we can have tiny bitch or massive bitch. I think we'll go with just average bitch. Uh, okay, that's. Uh, uh, do you want to give her a biography? Uh, how long do I have to go into this sort of thing? Uh, okay, uh, Mrs. Bitch. Uh, you know what? I'm going to come up with something and I'll see you very shortly. Okay, see you in a moment. And welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I've decided to change her hair a bit to uh, suit her profile a little bit. I couldn't find exactly that decent looking black straggly hair. That was sort of close as I'd come. But I thought these sort of uh, Ghostbusters style goggles will help. Especially, you know, uh, you know you're dealing with ghouls and uh, wastelanders. And you never know, you might need a proton pack for the odd um, class 3 uh, 
a Boogaloo monster. So, um, yeah. So, I've gone with her biography as Mrs. Bitch once had a loving family with Mr. Terence Bitch. That was until the bombs fell and she lost everything. Now she keeps a cool yet surly demeanor when dealing with almost any situation. Which I think you'll agree is quite suitable for someone like Mrs. Bitch. Right, okay, let's uh, move on. Ah, okay, so we now need to give her some stats. Um, let's see, we've got shotguns, handguns, heavy weapons. Oh, I Is it just all weapons? Okay. Uh, we've got seven that, so coordination. Uh, there's grace, deft touch and fine motor skills, coordination helps avoid traps and attacks, pick locks and improve aim. Uh, luck. That's just for, no one gives a crap, isn't it? Um, awareness, a range of high awareness, notice every detail of the world around them. They are hard to ambush or sneak up and often able to get a jump on their enemies. Uh, strength, high strength, they hit hard, came all gear. So yeah, the way I play, I definitely want some of that. Um, charisma, diability, okay. Yeah, I think Mrs. Bitch isn't particularly smart. I think she's just average. So, uh, so I think we got that. We got good. Okay, so let's um, put some stuff into combat. Okay, is this 12 points plus everything? Okay, well let's give her. Oh yeah, that goes down quite quick. Um, okay, let's do that. Um, Uh, okay, let's, uh, do you think she's, uh, Leo? let's go you take, smart ass, you clever mix for people into doing what you want, let's go use them in conversations, weaponsmithing, I think she's cool and collected, so I think we're going to give her, uh, weaponsmithing, um, lock picking and assault rifles, I think that'll probably be her best thing, and obviously as we level her up throughout the game, that'll be what we do, right, okay, um, oh, we can have quirks as well, so I assume this is changing for their character. Okay, so we have animal husbandry. You grow up on the farm and learn to tend animals there. You shower, uh, shower them with care and compassion, and they brought you a joy time. Life is good. Bonuses with animal whispered follows are two times as good. Uh, not that bothered. Um, well, I don't think that's the wise. What's asshole? Hard ass dialogue options always succeed. Uh, Score cannot use kiss ass or smart ass dialogue options. Uh, heavy handed. Mm. Huh. Psychopath, okay, plus 4% bonus chance to hit, plus 2% bonus critical chance of every successful attack. Bonus loss if you miss an attack. 5% space chance to hit, and 5% six chance. Okay, um, two times down is 25%. I think we press rage is good for her, so two times damage and 25% critical hits for plus, for one turn after receiving critical hit. Uh, apart from that, I can never get normal critical hits. So uh, she's just a big ball of rage. So yeah, I think that's apt for someone called Mrs. Bitch, so let's go with that. Right, okay, so uh, I, I imagine we need to create more people here. Uh, let's select an existing one to make speed things up along a bit here. Um, right. oh, just Big Bert. Blunt weapons, brute force, hard ass. A big bone rancher sound for just south of Highpool. Uh, Bert once punched out a long horn for assessing him. He's not much of social graces, be able to handle your strong arm duties. Uh, I think we need a bit of a bruiser, so we'll, we'll take him along with us. Uh, let's create another custom one. Let's have a man this time. So, um, uh, let's see, what's a good action hero name? How about Derek Steele? Um, he's gonna let's make him a bit older, so he's gonna be forty. Um, and we're gonna.
gonna make him Mormon. Uh, does he smoke? Nico pops coffee nails bones. Uh, let's, oh, I'm not sure how smoking changes, so let's uh, make him that he uh, smokes red rooster cigarettes. Uh, ethnicity. Let's make him European like good old us. Um, okay, I'm gonna try and make here a. Uh, let's give him a cool ass picture. That's not too bad. Uh, what's that one? No, not like that. Let's stick with that one. That's quite a good one. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna come up with a biography, and I will see you just shortly. Right, so here we are, massive old Derek Steele. Uh, as you can see, Derek was born on the mean streets of London where he made a living punching goats. All he wanted was a simple life, and then the world ended. Derek now makes a living kicking ass and taking names. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, see how we go with that. Okay, and as you can see, I've made him a massive guy with a full-on cowboy hat and ready to kick ass and take the whole world on. Okay, so let's give him some stats. I say we, uh, uh, I think we need someone who's a bit more intelligent than your average schmo. Um, bit of a nice talker. And, um, but, uh, not, not bad to throw down a bit if needed as well. So, uh, okay, you know, uh, but I wouldn't say he was uh, obviously fine with traps and attacks and stuff like that. So we are going to... I say that we um, give him some... Uh, I'd say we give him some stats in uh, heavy weapons. Um, we'll also give him a bit of knowledge in demolitions. And um, obviously because of his ability with uh, laying down on the goats, I say we give him some animal whisperer perk as well. Okay. Um, right, let's uh, move on to there. And I say, because of how well he was good at punching goats, I say we give him the uh, um, both and all whispered followers are, followers are two times as good. So, um, drawbacks are unknown. So, okay, I say we give him the animal husbandry uh, quirk and have done with it. So that's off. And I think, that again, we will do a uh, existing ranger for that one and I think we want to have a more someone who's a good uh, let's have a look. someone who's a bit smart so we've got lock picking, safe cracking, sub machine guns mechanical repair, sniper rifles and weapon sniffing um, bear outdoorsman sort of field medic I think we probably need a field medic actually don't we so um, she doesn't look that radically different from Mrs. Bitch so uh Ah, oh, here we are. With her Whittle O'Neill, a young mother of two who learned to hunt and shoot out of necessity when her husband was killed by waste wolves. But a single gun wasn't enough to protect her from raiders, came Colin. She came to Ranger Citadel and offered her service in exchange for a place with fast strong walls to raise her kids. She's could be blades, field medics, and handguns. Uh, yeah, actually, let, let, I, I, I tell her, let, let, let's, let's make a... Um, Let's make ourselves a field medic. Um, yeah, so let's see what we've got. To, let's make another girl then. Um, so, custom ranger, got a girl. Um, let's uh, make her a bit radically different. Yeah, let's get glasses. Let's make her a midget though, there we are. Our midget field. Okay. Is there like a pack that looks like a medit pack? Yeah, we'll go with that one. Yeah, that looks good. I think we're gonna get. Okay, so what do you think is a good name for a uh, field medic? Let's go with. Hmm. 
Keely McFaceton. Because obviously, if I get shot in the face, I need someone to obviously, uh, you know, put that, pick up that face and put it right back on that 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 head. So, uh, so I I would happily throw down knowing that Healy McFaceton's got my back. So, okay, obviously being a healer, she ain't going to smoke. Um, I'm going to go with an old D&D &D thing and say she's a cleric, so she's Christian. Um, uh, again, I don't really see that. Let's, uh, let's give her a slight Asian type of feel. So, um, okay, let me just come up with a bio and we'll see you shortly. Right, here we are then. Uh, born Misika Kitano, but nicknamed for amazing ability to reattach people's faces after they have been shot off by wastelanders, Healy makes a living as a travelling medicine woman. But don't worry, when it comes to the fight, Healy's good at removing faces too. Dot, dot, dot. Right, okay, so uh, I think we've got our team together. Let's just give her some points. Uh, need her to be um, good at healing, so I believe that I am not, whilst obviously I've not played this game, I'm assuming... Um, so I assume she's uh, going to be good at intelligence. I want to be able to move around a bit as well. Um, uh, so I'll have a good at then and uh, have a bit of strength as well. So, uh, so I'm going to have her with... going to have a good with a blade, you know, for cutting off the odd face. Um, I want a good at surgery, so surgeon, I think, and um, let's uh, give her a couple of other stuff. What's outdoors? If you want to find water in the water, land in the waste, yeah, she should know that because she needs to find her like gear and stuff. Um, and uh, I'll make a good at perception as well, so to so see if we can spot ambushes. So, okie dokie. Uh, Okay, let's just see if there's one of these. Where are the squeezons? Uh, okay, drunk. Uh, effective light to strike and shock a random target in combat. No. Um, two pump jump. Uh, two action points. Try to have to start here for two combat turn. Huh? Uh, twitchy, and fast, thick skinned. Mm, I think I'm going to leave her the same because I don't think there's any ones that are good specifically to uh, healers, so I'm going to leave her with no quirk. Right, okay, so we have Mrs. Bitch, Big Bert, Derek Steele, and Helium of Faceton. So, uh, let's bring on the bad guys, so, uh, I noticed that I haven't lowered some areas to increase others, so I've kept them fairly middling. Not sure if I should edit some of them before I go ahead. Uh, yeah, let, let's, um, let's, uh, edit some of these abilities. Okay, so let's, uh, I think we're happy. Um, uh, and you know which one of them is probably the enemy rookie. Uh, yeah, we'll go with C then. I assume that's normal. Okay, so let's try again. Okay, well, they look much better than my force, so uh, hopefully we won't die completely like daisies during this time. Oh, sorry, Omer, sorry. Uh, right, okay, so let's get this ball rolling when this bloody loads up. Come on. Come on! Come on! Oh, for God's sake. Yes, it's a very lovely badge, but I don't really care. Aha! Let's see what we got here then. Some guy. In a world full of waste, some people made. And you have Mark Morgan and Alexander Brandon to thank for this horrible noise. And nobody at all laughed at Victoria Cox's name during this. 
Okay. The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is that good men do nothing, said Mr. General Vargas. What comes after the end? I don't know. Because I'm dead. They, they were just an army engineer battalion constructing roads and bridges deep in the middle of the Arizona nowhere. They didn't know why Armageddon had come. They'd heard radio chatter about an attack on some space-based missile platform. But who had attacked it or why? No one knew. Nobody what cared. they did know is that the politicians and the generals had finally ended the world. The man now, did it. Everything was gone. They took over a federal prison for a fort, kicked out the convicts, got busy starting from scratch. Maybe it was an act of mercy. Maybe they figured that the prisoners would die out in the harsh new world. Whichever, it came back to bite the engineers in the ass. Cultists, criminals, cannibals. They've been living with the fallout ever since. It looks tasty. Good people had survived too. Called for help in the night. And those engineers, those Hello? common soldiers, could not stand by and see them die. So they came out of their fort and shot them and they anyway. The survivors defend their homes. And for that, they earned a new name. A proud name. The Desert Rangers. That's us, boyos. Now, Rangers, I know at times it seems our cause is hopeless. And I know it's hard to say goodbye to a brother in arms. Well, I can't be dead already. I haven't even started the but fucking game. But I want you game. to know something else. That no ranger who dies in the line of duty will ever be forgotten. Nor will he have ever died in vain. I deserve to prove them different. I will now die in vain repeatedly. Thank you, recruits. Hey, here we are. Good old... Good old Mrs. Batch. A stiff, bearded old man wearing a hard-worn ranger uniform and a battered old cowboy hat. General Vargas walks with a cane, but he's not helpless. He wears a pearl-handled revolver on his hip, and there are a lot of notches on the barrel. I appreciate you coming to Captain Ace's retirement party. You hardly knew the man. Appropriate, too, seeing as how investigating his death will be your first duty as a desert ranger. Uh... How did Ace die, sir? Ace had been trying to locate a faint radio signal, which has lately been given us cause for concern. We gave him three repeater units and sent him to hook him up to three remote radio towers. This would have allowed us to get a fix on the signal. But sadly, Ace was murdered by unknown assailants right after hooking up the first tower. And his logbook and the last two repeater units were stolen. You think the logbook was stolen, sir? Don't know, but it wasn't on Ace's person when he was found. Look for it. It might have some clues as to his death. Oh, sorry about the phone. Um, I'm going to just uh, grab that and I'll be back with you shortly. Right, sorry about that. Right. Repeat a unit, sir? When you get back to the Citadel, talk to our radio expert, Wade Woodson, if you want to know more about the technical details. All I know is the repeaters will upgrade the towers and allow us to zero in on the mystery signal. The signal is a threat, sir? The voice on those broadcasts disturbed me greatly. 
It talked crazy talk about a future where man and machine would be one. Worse, it talked about us, the Desert Rangers specifically. It said it was coming for us. Where are the radio towers? locations of the towers once you have the repeaters in hand. More important to find them first. Happy to be given the opportunity, sir. But are you sure we're ready? Yeah, I know. Ready with this voice? You've hardly found your feet with us, and here I am sending you on a mission that already got one ranger killed. Well, I wish I had another option, but the desert rangers are spread a little thin right now. Ranger teams Abel and Charlie are out west trying to stop a range war out there from becoming straight up genocide. And Team Baker is up north looking for a way through the radiation that's cut us off from Vegas. I'm afraid the next generation is going to have to lead the charge on this one. What's the mission, sir? I don't know why Mrs. Bitch has a voice like this, but you know, it's just the way it's good. this game is going already. The mission is this. Search the area where Ace's body was found and do your best to recover his logbook and the repeater units. Then call in your report. If you find the repeaters, I may send you on to finish his mission. Okay, don't worry, Derek Storm is on it. Ace's death must be avenged, and it will be. But finding the signal he died trying to track down is just as important. Besides, I got the sneaking suspicion that when you find the one, you'll find the other. Call in, sir? Yes, call in on your radio. Your radio is your lifeline to Ranger Citadel. We'll be calling you with alerts and updates on your current missions, and sending you new missions when we receive distress calls. As Rangers, it is your sworn duty to respond to those calls. That is the contract we made with the people of Arizona when we opened for business. I'm sorry, but it's my first day. Even though I'm a complete cunt, according to my bio. Once you prove yourself, the Citadel will be your new home. Consider this mission the final test of your training. If you succeed, you are welcome within our walls. If you fail, and you aren't cut out to be a Desert Ranger, we won't let you in. Surely, sir, the success of the mission is more important than testing us. You want to find free signals? Shouldn't you let us in and stock up on everything we need to succeed? Yes, we are. Because you're a twat, General Vargas, so you thought you should give us some guns. Logic and observation will change some folks' minds, and you can catch people in lies that way. But sometimes, it only makes them mad. So be careful. In this case, you're right. I should let you in. But I got a feeling about you four. You got depths you don't even know you have, and it's going to take adversity to tap them. So I'm sending you out under gunned and unprepared just to see what it brings out of you. You thank me later. Well, thank you when we're dead, sir. Uh, maybe. Where is this area, sir? It's about a day's walk east from here. I'll mark it on your map. Thank you. Well, let's see, we're already halfway across the map just going to this radio tower, so that's not too bad. Thank you, we'll do our best. Good luck out there, recruits. Right, Lobby of Sky into Missions, Ranger Squad is acquired and completed, including notes and other information that you can access. In the inventory menu, simply select a more specific mission, entry the list, and say more details. It pays to keep tabs on your progress. Ooh. Okay, um, uh, okay, so we move around like this. Right, okay, um, I hope you enjoyed this very brief uh, introduction of that. Um, any, because this is a fairly new thing for Emotion 14, have any feedback or that is all more than welcome. Leave a like or a dislike in the comments. Um, preferably uh, only, um, uh, if you give us any, uh, you know, creative feedback, just not this is shit or whatever, uh, we'll just be ignored. So don't, so don't worry about that. Um, yeah, uh, and uh, 
I hope you like this. Um, there'll be more soon as we carry on our adventures of Healy McFacerson and Mrs. Bitch and Derek Storm and the other guy that I couldn't be bothered to create. And we'll uh, we'll go from there. So hope you have a great uh, hope you have a great uh, time ahead of you, folks. And um, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Good day. Good day.